Robot Builders, I'm Nick, and today at Robot City Workshop we will be building the Mechanical Turtle by Tamiya. This kit is appropriate for ages 10 and up, however, if you're part of our after school program or beginner workshops, you can be as young as 8 years old and still enjoy building this kit. Let's unbox. Due to the length of this instructional video, I've decided to break this into two parts. So, let's get started with part one, which starts with step one. Also, it should be noted that if you're part of our after school program, this particular robot will take at least two, probably three class sessions for you to complete. The only tools that you'll need for this build is a Phillips head screwdriver and a pair of diagonal cutters. The first thing I like to do is take my piece of rubber tubing and go ahead and prep six very small pieces, two of which you'll use in step one and four of which you'll use later in the build. The pieces should be approximately this size. For step one, you're going to take your two small battery terminals and thread them through the ends of the battery case. Once you have your small battery terminal in place, you're going to take battery terminal B and slide that in over top of it so that it looks like this. Please note the location of the positive and negative signs. Now once again take one of your small terminals, thread it through, and now take battery terminal C and slide that in right on top of the small battery terminal so that it looks like this. Now, we're going to take our yellow wire and remove this junk plastic to expose the end of the wire and thread that through the positive terminal. And then I like to hook the metal piece over just a little bit so that the metal is making absolute contact with the metal. Now we're going to take one of our pieces of rubber tubing and press that down over top of the terminal so that it holds the wire in position. Repeat this process on the other side using the green wire. Now we're going to take our little plastic cover plate and we're going to snap that into place right over our positive terminal. Step one complete. For step two, we're going to build our switch box. Cut out the pieces you need. And let's get started. For step two, let's go ahead and bring in all the little pieces that we'll need. Let's begin by taking switch terminal A, which looks like this, and placing it through half of the switch box so that it looks like this. Do the same thing to the other side. And now we're going to take switch terminal B and push those through the switch box using the two remaining openings.
Now we can set that aside for a moment and take the other half of our switch box and place the switch itself inside of it. Now you're going to take this tiny piece called switch terminal C and place that into the switch itself. Repeat this on the other side. Once all of your switch terminals are in position, it's time to put our pieces together. Secure the two halves together using the 2x6 screws and nuts. Step 2 complete. For step three, we're going to need a lot of little parts, including four eyelets, a hex shaft with nut, and gears G1, G2, and G3, as well as all the plastic parts for the gearbox itself. The trickiest of which to identify if you've never built a Tamiya kit before is this part right here, M1. Be sure to get a really clean cut on this piece so there are no remaining burrs, as this can prove problematic for the gearbox. Once again, just like with part M1, we want to make a very clean cut so that there are no remaining burrs on the bushings. And the last part we need is the remaining shaft. I like to begin by taking part M3 and placing my eyelets into two of those holes, doing the same for the other half of the gearbox. Now we're going to take our small shaft and we're going to use gear G2 and place the shaft through the gear and secure it on one side using one of our bushings. Now let's take the hex shaft with nut and place gear G3 right here. Afterwards we're going to take the remaining gear G1 and place that directly behind G3 and add our remaining bushing to hold those in place. And now we're going to take our two shafts with attached gears, align them like this, Take part M3 and align them thusly. Now take part M1 and place it over the shaft without the nut before finally closing up your gearbox. Now use one of the 3x12 screws to hold everything in place. Step 3 complete. 